So I've got a question for you guys. Are you excited for even more products which are going to launch and then immediately fly off the virtual shelves? Because if you were to ask me, well, I kind of am. And that's because we've seen the ASUS Tough Dash F15 laptop being listed with an RTX 3050 Ti GPU way before Nvidia would even hit the stage and tell us more about this card. And obviously, if they were to do that, I wouldn't be just as excited. And that's because if they were to release the RTX 3050 Ti just now, well, that kind of would mean that they're going to have 10 GPUs and these might fly off the shelves immediately at some exorbitant prices. So maybe we don't really need this GPU just now. Or maybe we need the RTX 3050 Ti Mobile first and then we can wait for the desktop card to release. But either way, you guys probably want to hear more about this GPU and according to the good people at Video Cards, ASUS has listed this laptop and we have seen it uh, featuring 4GB of GTDR6 memory and according to Video Cards, they said that this might actually be the first G107 chip. Now, I don't really think that this um, GPU is going to be featuring the G107 die. I would much rather expect it to be G106, just like we've seen with the RTX 3060. Now, I say that because on the RTX 3060 Ti, we have seen the G104 chip, which was also featured on the uh, RTX 3070, and on the G uh, on and G102 was featured on both the RTX 3080 and RTX 3090. So that's kind of my logic over there. If you guys think that's flawed, then definitely let me know in the comment section down below. But you might want more information about it. And also from video cards, we learned from a previous leak from Acer that the um, TGP for this GPU might start at 60 watts. And obviously that is going to be the bottom of the barrel. And you're going to see uh, this with 75 watts with dynamic boost or in some higher end um, versions of this card, you might see an even higher TGP. So we're definitely going to have to wait a little bit longer for that. But if you are interested in the ASUS Tough Dash F15 uh, with the RTX 3050 Ti, um, we have seen that this is most likely going to get paired with um, Intel CPU. So these, of course, being the i5-11300H, the i7-11370H, or the 11375H on the highest end option. In terms of RAM configuration, we are expected to see up to 16 gigabytes of um, DDR4 memory. And with the screen panel options, the video card says that this might actually be offered even with a Quad HD panel. But obviously I would tell you guys to stay away from that if you want to get the best possible performance, except if you are uh, someone who really wants to buy this laptop for casual gaming and some office use, then I guess that is going to be somewhat better. I don't really know what a Asus is going to be doing with these uh, Quad HD panels, if they're indeed going to be even better than their um, 1080p Full HD panels, whatever that we've seen previously. And by that, I mean, obviously, that you guys have told me that the screens on the uh, tough laptops haven't been all that great. I don't really know how the newer uh, panels were so or are, so definitely let me know in the comment section down below because that is going to be interesting to learn more about. And that's a perfect segue to say that it's definitely going to be interesting to see how Hasi, Hasi, whatever you want to call this brand, is going to uh, manage the sale of their upcoming laptops and you guys might be looking at this like huh what 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 brand is this well I've done a video talking about them right here in the info cards above you can check it out where I told you that a lot of people in China are using these laptops for cryptocurrency mining and um, yeah I know not a lot of you uh, have been really happy about that but you might be happy to learn that they are going to be putting Rocket Lake S CPUs inside of these laptops and again Rocket Lake S well yeah that's a desktop CPU and it's going to be coming to mobile as well and we're learning this way before Intel is going to be telling us more about it or even before Intel is going to be officially launching these CPUs and with that in mind these should launch on the 30th of March and I'm talking about the desktop CPUs we don't really know when these laptops are going to officially launch but you can probably guess that's a lot of cryptocurrency miners or maybe I don't I'm not certain about this but maybe we're going to start seeing them in a week 
week or two because uh, it kind of seems that they are always able to get these uh, way before launch. So if you are going to see uh, these pictures somewhere, then uh, definitely tag me because it means that some people were able to get them early. Either way, let's talk about the specs because uh, we have seen that they're going to be uh, releasing two different series. These are going to be called the Ar uh, Ares TX8 and the TX9, which will also be featuring Intel's 10th gen CPUs. But I guess nobody really cares about Comet Lake right now when Rocket Lake is right around the corner, right? So we're going to be seeing uh, the 11400 and the 11700 CPUs. Those are, of course, the non-overclockable versions, so uh, non-K uh, that we have also um, seen in uh, the listings where we have talked about Rocket Lake, so another video right here. Either way, the 11400 and the 11700 are going to be paired with the RTX 3060 and RTX 3070 GPUs, alongside 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 512 SSD, and 16.1 inches for the panel, which is definitely something interesting to see in uh, such a form factor right here. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit to see if these laptops are indeed uh, going to uh, go on sale anywhere else than in China. But if you were interested in um, the prices for these um, laptops, they're going to be starting at 1300 US dollars and going all the way to 1700 US dollars for the RTX 3070 uh, models. Now, obviously, we're going to have to see how um, these are indeed going to perform or if you're even going to be able to uh, get them. So, a lot of speculation going on and I guess this also goes perfectly well with the other thing that I would like to talk about which is uh, RDNA 2 Mobile because AMD hasn't really told us uh, much more about it during their uh, Where Gaming Begins Part 3 keynote and sadly all the information that we have about uh, these cards and these upcoming laptops is still pretty bare bones I should say or it's all uh, a big uh, speculation but I have a video talking about the um, RX 6000 M series in the top card in the info cards um, which you can check out if you are interested but I would also like to point out that there have been some speculations coming from Patrick Shore um, on Twitter via video cards and he has said that he expects that Navi 24 is going to start at a TGP of 35 watts and going all the way to Navi 22 he expects that we might actually be seeing a card with a TGP of around 145 watts but obviously that is speculation so definitely grab your uh, or you should have grabbed your uh, salt shakers before taking this information into consideration such a great line right here and we also don't really know if these are indeed going to be called the RX 6300M or the RX 6800M so we're definitely going to have to wait on that uh, before AMD is uh, going to do maybe a part 4 during their uh, for their Where Gaming Begins events so um, yeah get excited for that and uh, get excited for a new video coming out I don't know maybe tomorrow maybe next week I don't really know at this point and I'm really busy but um, thanks a lot for checking out this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye